Today's challenge, 2014 Chevy Volt service high voltage charging system message. The vehicle does power up and it does, you know, it'll go into gear and it'll move and all that. As you can see by the speedometer there. Let me put it back in park before I crash. And we also have a customer supply note. Initially started with code for low charging slash battery coolant topped off and holding steady approximately two months ago. Then through all three codes, P1E00, P0AA6, P1FFF. Replaced original 12 volt battery. No codes for weeks, then returned approximately one month ago. High voltage battery drain is dry. Currently, if I clear the codes, it will charge and operate just fine. Good range on battery. Codes re return in approximately 12 hours. Does it just need a software flash? And then at the bottom it says, please feel free to call and text. Thank you so much. And it gives a name and number. Okay, so, so it is always nice to get a little note like this straight from the customer, okay? This tells me the customer's perception of the problem and also that maybe this customer is a little bit handy themselves and they've been doing their own research. So it means that I better not be saying something that's not true or just, I, I need to make sense when I tell them, hey, this is what's wrong with your car and here's what's going to take to fix it because they might be savvy to that kind of thing. So... High voltage battery drain is dry. What that means is that they took the little bolt on the bottom of the battery tray, they took that bolt out and there was oh, allegedly dry. So we are potentially chasing a low coolant, but it says that it's holding steady a few months ago. So I do see the low, the low coolant code from time to time and usually there is not a coolant leak, so we will look into it. As you can see, we've even got the little device here. What is this? Elm 327. So he's got his own uh, little scan tool, Bluetooth scanner that goes on probably as a phone or something. This is, uh, this is probably how he's been pulling the codes. Quick check under the hood. Yes, the reservoirs are full. So it's not going to be that. Let's just go check codes now. Let's see what we got for codes. P1E00, P0AA6, P1FFF. I'm not going to worry about the P1FFF because the P1FFF will set when you get the P0AA6 also and vice versa. So I am going to concentrate on the P0AA6 code. See right there, DTC PE1 FFF will never set alone, although the DCC that triggered it may have passed since the initial failure. So that's why, and it even says P0AA6 right there, only when these codes are set will P1 FFF also set. And of course the P0AA6 code is a uh, isolation code. So they want you to run through all sorts of tests and do this and that. Okay, great. But here's something you didn't know. There's actually a bulletin for this. So let me show you that. So 21NA224, there's actually a bulletin if you have the P0AA6 and P1FFF code and you are a 2011 to 2015 volt they want you to reprogram some modules to resolve the problem of course it also wants you to verify that battery pack drain plug make sure there are no actual coolant leaks because that is a serious fire hazard so i think that i will i will double check what the customer said and i'll pull that little plug and i'll make sure it's dry and then we will proceed with this and we'll just take care of the problem. So it looks like the customer had already done their own research. They already figured out that this is probably the solution to their problem. So looks like they were right. Okay, so I did take a quick look at the inspection plug. I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm not gonna show YouTube where and what to do on these high voltage systems or whatever. I did check and there was some uh, updates for the HPCM and the BECM 
I flashed them to the latest calibrations and that should take care of it. So now I'm gonna put the little uh, scanner device back in and we're gonna call this good. Looks like the customer was right.